Hello friends, today we will talk about bariatric metabolic surgery. What are the preparations that you should do before you get this done? How are the results? What could be the special precautions that you need? And what are the long time effects of this surgeries? So first, what are the indications and who should be considering? Bariatric metabolic surgery should now be considered for individuals who have BMI of 27.5 or higher with uncontrolled diabetes for Asians as well as for people who are BMI is now touching 32.5 or higher even if they do not have associated diabetes which is uncontrolled. So what these days we combine the two terms and we just call it bariatric metabolic surgery because all the individuals who lose weight will eventually have some benefit in the form of metabolic component like their chronic diseases in the form of diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all these they get resolved to a certain extent and even if they do not have this manifested diseases, their body becomes much more healthier than before. We just club the two terms and we call them as metabolic bariatric surgery or bariatric metabolic surgery. How these are performed? Most of the surgeries are now done laparoscopically, meaning that you will have very very small holes on your skin and usually we do not give any stitches after the surgery. All the stitches are done inside and you will not find any stitches on the skin as you go home. Patient is discharged within a day or two from the surgery. The recovery is very quick. Patient starts taking liquids on the same day or evening of the surgery or max on the next day morning. Patient goes home on liquid diet and then we gradually increase it to semi-solid depending upon which type of patient's surgery has been done and how is the condition of the patient. What are the main types of bariatric surgeries? So in India, the most common surgery being done right now is sleeve gastrectomy which is also the most common surgery being done worldwide. The sleeve involves just removal of a part of your stomach so as to make your stomach really small and of a sleeve shaped. So if your stomach is this big we can decrease it to a very small size so that the patient starts eating less whereas the body's requirement is much higher. So as you eat less and your requirement is more you will start losing weight and in the meantime your intake will go a little more and eventually this will balance off. Depending upon how much excess weight you carry the balancing off can happen within 3 months to a an year and then the weight will remain as much as we require for the body to have. The main advantage in sleeve is that there is no component of the bypass involved meaning that whole of the food that you eat will go through your stomach and then to your small intestine and the digestive process will remain same whereas the only restriction is in the restriction on your intake. This also means that this is quite safe and the amount of malabsorption of in terms of minerals, vitamins, proteins, this is going to be very minimal. So this is one of the simplest bariatric surgery that is being offered. The other second most common surgery in India right now is mini gastric bypass. This is one of the types of bypasses. The Ruinweig gastric bypass is the third most common surgery and there are little few differences between the two. In mini gastric bypass surgery, we just divide the stomach and then make it into two different compartments. The smaller one remains in junction with the food pipe whereas the bigger part is being divided and it gets extruded from the pathway of the food. The food will now enter the food pipe and then goes to the part of the stomach that is attached with the food pipe. From there it travels to the jejunum and does not enter the proximal duodenum and the proximal jejunum which is getting bypassed. So this way there are multiple effects. Patient is eating less as well as the part of the food is not getting digested because we are bypassing the part of small intestine which is normally meant to digest the food. This way again the intake will be less, the absorbed food will be much less whereas the requirement is more. Again the body starts adapting to the new circuit that we have created and the slowly these things will match off. Your intake will become equal to what is required for the body and then the weight loss will stop. The major advantage of this surgery is that no part of the stomach is removed and in case a reversal is needed it can be reversed as well as a part of the food will always get bypassed thereby meaning that you will have a little better weight loss and a little more long standing weight loss as compared to sleep in case you do not behave well in the post operative period meaning that the, even if you eat a little more in calories it will be bypassed. So how do we judge which patient needs which surgery? It depends upon lot of factors. Usually for the patients whose BMI is not very high like people who are less than 40 BMI and they do not take alcohol, they are not taking anything else which is very high in calorie. We can offer a simpler surgery like a sleeve gastrectomy or for patients who are still they want to get pregnant we can offer a simple surgery like a sleeve or in patients who are very high risk like patients who have borderline renal failure, liver problem, things like that. Again, a simpler solution like a sleeve can be offered. Mini gastric bypass is a little more aggressive procedure meant for those people who need a little more aggressive procedure like people who have BMI more than 40 since they have a lot of weight to lose. So we feel that by doing a mini gastric bypass, 
you are likely to lose more weight as compared to a simpler surgery. Again, people who have diabetes, the results of mini gastric bypass have been seen to be better in terms of diabetes resolution as compared to sleep, as well as the resolution lasts much longer as compared to sleep. The late weight regain also is less in mini gastric bypass as compared to a simpler surgery like sleep. So for a simpler patient, we'll offer a simpler surgery as well as for a difficult patient, we'll offer a more refined or a bit complex surgery. In which patients we offer a wound by gastric bypass? For patients who have hypercernia or a lot of reflux symptoms, the results of wound by gastric bypass have been shown to be better as compared to other types of surgery. What are the long term issues that you should be remembering before you undergo a bariatric metabolic surgery? If before surgery you have diabetes or high blood pressure, it may go away after surgery or you may have to take a small dose of medicine. But then you should remember that you must monitor these things in a few months always for the rest of the life so that you should be aware. Well, in these patients, we either we do a restriction like sleep or we bypass a part of the bowel. We must remember that the intake of mineral, protein, vitamins, these have to be adequate so that you do not get a deficiency. Meaning that you should be eating a high protein diet as well as you should be taking some kind of supplements in the form of tablets so that you do not get deficiencies of either vitamins or minerals and then a good quality of protein intake as already told must be there. You should also be doing at least a minimum form of exercise so that you develop and retain your muscle mass. As you lose your fat, the amount of muscle loss should not be very great. Some of the patients due to massive weight loss, they may develop gallbladder stones. So patients should be regularly screened for gallbladder stones as long as they are decreasing weight. We also give some medicines for the prevention of these gallbladder stones. So these should be regularly taken by the patients. Apart from this, patients ask that what all activities are not allowed after bariatric metabolic surgery. Well, after a month or so, you are allowed to do whatever activity you want like gymming, swimming, climbing, whatever activity you have been doing, you can do. And rather you can do in a much better way once you lose weight because now you do not have to carry the excess weight that you used to carry and your body will become much more healthier after you lose weight. So this was just an overview of bariatric and metabolic surgery. We have lots of other videos covering various aspects of bariatric and metabolic surgery. I hope you can see them and we'll be updating lots and lots of more content on our channel. So kindly like, share and comment on our videos as well as subscribe our channel for new updates. Thank you.